Year was poppin' loyalists. Welcome back to the channel. This is Dom ZNT, aka Glitch Guru. In this GTA 5 online video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get the white duffel bag online and save it, guys. This time around, this method is a lot more assured. All right, guys. So stick with me. This video is a bit of a long one, 17 minutes long. So strap in, guys. I'm gonna show you guys what to do step by step and I guarantee you guys that you will get the white duffel bag this time around if you follow every last step in this video alright so let's get started the very first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start this glitch out in story mode and then from story mode we're just gonna open up the interaction menu and select direct the mode and launch it once in direct the mode we're gonna go to our shirtless actors and we're gonna remove any shirtless actor that we have on this list by pressing triangle or Y if you're on Xbox like so once the shirtless is empty we're just gonna back out go into actors go to animals and we're gonna shirtless our chicken hawk if you guys don't have the chicken hawk then you guys can check out my video I'll post the card right here at the top right so you guys can go check that video out now after shirtlisting your bird you just want to back out go down to online characters and we're going to shirtless our online character that we want to do the glitch with i'm going to be shirtlisting my second online character because i want to get the duffel bag on my female this time around so i'm just going to shirtless my female character press triangle and then once we do that we're just going to back out exit story mode and once we're back into story mode we're just going to launch a invite only session So once we're online, we're going to make our way over to a clothing store and we're going to purchase a standard outfit. The outfit that I'm currently wearing is a standard outfit and we just need to make sure that we have this outfit saved. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to go right up front, hit right D-pad and select standard outfits and we're going to purchase one of these standard outfits. Once we have it, we're going to make sure that we take the hat off of it, the glasses off of it if it has that. And then we're going to go back over here and then we're going to save the outfit like that without the hat and without the glasses. All right. We want to make sure that we don't have anything on our head. So an outfit like this would be perfect. Just make sure that you take off the hat and you take off the glasses. Okay. So simply just take the glasses off, take the hat off, go back over to the counter and save the outfit without any of that stuff on it. All right. Pretty simple so far. All right, once we have our standard outfit saved, make sure that you are wearing it. So I'm going to select my standard outfit because this is the one that I have saved. We're going to go outside and we're going to put on our Israel parachute bag. If you guys don't have an Israel parachute bag, go down to the gun shop and purchase one. All right, so I already have one. So I'm going to open up the interaction menu, go down to style, go to parachute, and we're going to turn our parachute on. If your parachute is like this and you don't see it as grayed out, what you guys want to do is get into a buzzer or an oppressor and your parachute bag will come back. So I do own the Israel parachute bag already, but my parachute is missing currently. So I just need to get into a buzzer and then get out and the parachute bag will return. So let me show you guys right here. So just for a quick second, hop into the buzzer, hop out and simple. We should now have our parachute bag. So we now have the Israel parachute bag on. So this is all you guys want to do is make sure that you are wearing your standard outfit along with your Israel parachute bag. Okay. Once you guys have that, the very next thing that we're going to do is we're going to start up a parachuting job that's on the map. It doesn't matter which one you guys start up. So I like to start up this one right here by LSC. right here so I'm going to just hover over that press square to launch it and get ready so once we are in this uh, settings menu right here we're just going to select confirm and launch this mission All right, all we want to do here is hop out of the plane by pressing square and then we're just going to drop all the way down close to the ground and we're going to pull our parachute before hitting the ground of course and then we're going to open up our phone 
hit square one time and then we're just going to wait till we get close to the ground and then we're just going to hit X to quit the job. Right, getting kind of close there now what you guys want to do is wait till you get a little bit closer to the ground I like to be a lot closer to the ground so I'm gonna wait till I get a little bit closer not gonna kill myself and we're not going to land okay so once we're about right here we're just gonna open up the phone hit square and I'm gonna select X right about now all right before hitting the ground of course you do not want to touch the ground all right once you guys do that you're going to back out of the job and you should be back in your invite only session and now when you open up your weapon wheel you should notice that you have two parachute bags if you have two parachute bags then you hit that part of the glitch correctly and we can move on and let's get this white duffel bag all right so now what we need to do is request a second buzzer because we need to jump out one more time so I'm going to request a buzzer here and we're just going to go find it and jump out of it. Now when you guys are doing this glitch, a lot of people uh, say that you got to have your spawn location on last location. I don't think it necessarily matters, but just for safety, make sure that you put your spawn location on last location even though I don't think it necessarily matters, all right? My friend definitely got a white duffel bag and he spawned into his bunker, so, you know, take that information how you want. So once we have the helicopter, we're inside, we're about to get ready to jump out of this bad boy. Just wanna fly up as high as possible because you don't wanna die here, all right? So we're gonna fly up pretty high. We're gonna jump out and pretty much as soon as possible, pull our parachute. That way we can have a little bit of time here because from here we need to open up the interaction menu, go down to style, and hover over the outfit that we saved. We're not going to select it until we land and we see our character taking off the parachute bag, alright? So open up the interaction menu, select style, hover over the outfit that we saved, and you guys just want to make sure that you land safely, alright? With the interaction menu open. And once you guys see your character taking off the bag, select X now, boom, close the menu, and you should see that Rockstar saving icon at the bottom right, the little orange loading saving icon right there at the bottom right. Once you guys have that, boom, you're good to go. Now we can go find our time trial, which is located down at the airport this week, currently, for now anyway. This will change probably on Thursday when Tuna Boost come out, so... It's down at the airport currently. What you guys want to do is make sure that you go down there with a vehicle that you can start the time trial with. Hit right D-pad. Hold down on the D-pad now and switch to any story mode character that you guys want. I usually switch to Franklin. Once we're in story mode, we're just going to open up the interaction menu. Go down to director mode and launch it. Alright guys, are you still with me? Very easy. Alright, from here we're going to go into our shirtless actors. And we should have two characters here, our bird and our online character. And what we're going to do is hold up on the left analog stick. And that's going to switch between our online character and our bird character. And the birds will start duplicating. This is going to glitch our character out after 26 minutes of doing this. So I always set a timer. And then I just go and watch YouTube or something like that. I put my controller down. I go AFK. You guys can do the rubber band thing if you want. But I usually put my controller down face down because it's a little bit easier on my analog stick. Alright, so we're going to do this for 26 minutes, and after 26 minutes, your character is going to jump from the trailer over to the haystack where the birds are like so. We did a little time skip there, guys. It was just really smooth. I'm really good with the edits. Alright, so we're just going to over duplicate our birds because we don't want our character to turn back into a normal character and we lose our modded outfits, okay? You don't want that. So we over duplicate our birds to prevent losing our modded outfits when we're pressing square over the categories, okay? So I'm over duplicating. Once you do that, we're gonna go back over to the haystack, press triangle to remove the bird character, and then we're just gonna press circle, go to actors, beach bums, and select square over these outfits that you guys see here in this list, all right? Make sure you go down the list, hit square, go back up, hit square, down, square, up, square, whatever like that, and keep doing that, guys, for about two to three minutes, I would say. Also, this would be a good time for you guys to try to find an outfit with a Christmas mask on it. 
or you guys could find an outfit with a Christmas mask plus the duffel bag and you don't have to even do the freeze mask glitch, which I'm about to do right here. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. So in order to do the freeze Christmas mask glitch, so what you guys wanna do is shortlist an outfit that has a Christmas mask on it. You only need one. Then we're gonna remove our GTA online character from the shortlist. Once we do that, we will be able to freeze the Christmas mask by going into the shortlist, backing out, go to actors, beach bums, bodybuilder, muscle sands, whatever, hit square twice. If the Christmas mask freeze, you're good. If it doesn't, back out and repeat that process. Rest and repeat, all right? So this is me about to hit the glitch right here. Boom, this is what it looks like when you hit it. Once you go back into that category, bodybuilder, muscle sands, whichever one it is that you're using and you hit square twice or once, twice, whatever it is, your outfit should be changing, but the mask should be frozen. That's how you know you hit it, all right? So once you guys have that, what you guys wanna do is find a outfit that has a duffel bag the white duffel bag of course like so shirtlist it find another outfit with the white duffel bag shirtlist it find another outfit white duffel bag shirtlist it we're going to shirtlist a couple of these i recommend that you guys max out your shirtlist and shirtlist 10 of them so i'm gonna show you guys why shirtlisted 10 of these here in a moment so i'm just finding my last couple of outfits here this is a very very cool one right here i hope this one works all right, this is my last outfit right here. So once we shortlist the last outfit, we're gonna back out, go into our shortlist actors, and these are all of the, the outfits that I have shortlisted when I froze the Christmas mask along with the bag. So we need to test one of these outfits here to make sure that we can bring it online. I like this one here a lot, so I'm gonna go for that one. I'm gonna test that one first. So how do we test it? In order to test it, all we need to do is hover over that outfit, back out, go into our actors, go down to story mode characters, and we're just going to go down to where it says Brad. And if you are still wearing a duffel bag, when you select Brad, then this outfit is good to be bought online along with the duffel bag, guys. So that's the simple trick right there. As long as when you go down to Brad and you still have your duffel bag on, then you will be able to bring that duffel bag online along with that outfit. I'm going to try to find an example of an outfit that doesn't work where the duffel bag will disappear when you go down to Brad. So let's try this outfit right here. Let's go down to our story mode characters and let's go down to Brad. As you guys can see right there, the duffel bag disappears. You would never know unless you tested it out this way. But a lot of people would just think that you could bring this outfit online, even myself. But this is the way that we can test it to make sure that it will come online, guys. So now that we know this, it's a game changer, man. It's a real game changer. So I'm going to test this outfit out one more time because I want to be sure that I can bring this one online before exiting story mode and, you know, getting rid of all of our hard work here. So I want to make sure that I will come out with this duffel bag. So I'm going to test it one last time. It seems to be good. Okay, since it's good, I'm going to go back into my shirtless actors and I'm going to select this outfit and we're going to take it into director mode now. All right. Boom. We're about to get this white duffel bag and this will work for your female character or your male character all right guys doesn't matter all right so now that we're in direct mode with this outfit we just want to wait for 30 seconds so we're just going to wait around 30 seconds to look at our new white duffel bag that we will be bringing online looks amazing i really like the closed duffel bag a lot more the closed white one anyway a lot more than the open one just looks a lot better all right so once we waited waited around for 30 seconds in director mode we're just going to hold down on the d-pad and we're going to switch to our story mode character all right so that's about 30 seconds and we're going to launch story mode and we should now be in story mode with the duffel bag with the outfit and everything all right, like so. Now what we're gonna do is wait around for 30 seconds in story mode. Very important guys that you do this. All right, boom, white the whole bag. Oh yeah, looking crazy. That's what's up, man. Make sure you guys leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, turn on post notifications so you never miss a single video, and go check out the merch store, man. We got these crazy 333 Loyalist hoodies up in the merch store right now, along with phone cases, coffee mugs, uh, hoodies for kids, all kinds of stuff, guys. Check it out. All right, so we're just sitting here waiting around. Uh, that's about 30 seconds, I would say. Once 30 seconds has passed, what you guys want to do is hit options, go to online, and start up an invite-only session. 
All right, let's get this white duffel bag. All right. So we're just waiting. Cool, we're loading in now. And moment of truth, fingers crossed. Oh yeah, we did it. Let's get it. It's the glitch guru. The kid is me, guys. I this me, man. It's me. Who is it? It's me, man. It's me. I did it. You did it. I did it, man. I did it. I got the white double bag. You see it? These you crazy. All right, guys. These you crazy. All right, one more, one more time. This is crazy, man. White duffel bag online after all of this hard work, trial and error of me trying a thousand different methods. All right. I finally found one that works. <laughs> Let's go. Now what you guys want to do is go down to the mask shop so we can save this outfit, fly over it with a buzzer or an oppressor like I'm doing here, jump, and once we jump, we will glide down over to the mask shop and we just want to land right in front of it. Before we take off the parachute bag, we want to make sure that we're right in front of the mask shop and spamming right D-pad and pressing up against the mask shop so we can get that option. So right here, once I hit the ground, I'm just holding up on my left analog stick and I'm spamming right D-pad so we can get taken into the mask shop. And once we do, we can save this outfit along with the duffel bag. So just name it anything. Make sure you guys do not name it something that will be detected. Name it something like, oh. And like name it something very simple because if not, it could get deleted. You know, if you, you know how Rockstar is, guys, man. Make sure you name your outfit something appropriate. All right, that's all I'm saying. Name it something appropriate. All right, so once we save it, this, the parachute will fall off like that, but then all we have to do is go to our outfit, select it, and boom, the duffel bag is back. White duffel bag on my back. Female character, down ZNT. Glitch guru, you saw it here first. Where did you say it? Glitch guru, where did you say it? Glitch guru, down ZNT. Glitch guru. You saw it over here first, guys. Dom ZNT Glitch Guru. But that's it for this video, you guys. As always, I'm trying to get this channel up to 100,000 subscribers. And I need each and every single one of you guys watching to do me a favor. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on post notifications so you never miss a single video. Please help me help you, you guys. And keep bringing you these great GTA 5 online videos. Until next time, this is your boy, Glitch Guru. Officially, ew. Peace. Stay loyal. And click one of them videos on the screen, man. Look at that. That's a good video right there. Oh, yeah. What?